Growing up as a Gen Z kid was cool, I guess. I'm not proud of my generation, but we definitely grew up with some cool stuff. Minecraft, Bakugan, Pokemon cards, especially Pokemon cards. That was all the rage in elementary school, especially if you had EX cards super rare cards but even more so if you can even afford the cards in the first place but me being the weirdo of course back then didn't really care about the current pokemon cards that were being released i cared about the vintage 102 base set cards these were cards that were not obtainable one day very rare occasion. I walk into a classroom and I see a group of kids. They're playing um, Magic the Gathering. And at the time, I was also into Magic the Gathering. I get excited. I'm like, yo, let me play too. And they're like, yeah, bet. Bring your deck tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, cool. I come back to school the next day with my deck box. I even labeled it Benny so that they wouldn't steal my cards, even though no one else had a ginormous deck box like this. Me and my friends start opening our decks and setting up the game. We're about to duel in Magic the Gathering. And in my peripheral vision, I see a kid, he's starting to dig through his backpack. He pulls out a deck box and I'm like, oh yeah, he's just gonna play Magic the Gathering too. But no, he's pulling out a stack of Pokemon cards. And when I take a closer look, I see the original Blastoise, the OG Blastoise card at the top of his deck. At this point, I'm not even paying attention to the magic game. I'm just looking at what cards this kid has. I casually approach this kid as if like I'm not sweating and like freaking out that this kid has these old cards. And while this is happening, the other kids playing magic are oblivious to what's happening. They don't give a crap about these cards. I casually walk up to this kid. I'm like, oh, those are cool Pokemon cards with sweat dropping down my face. Uh, where'd you get those? And these are just my older brother's cards. He doesn't really want them anymore. He just gave them to me. Would you want to? trade me i i like i have a ton of super rare cards at home like i have a ton of cards i didn't have crap at home but i didn't want to lose my chance to get these hella rare cards so i just made it up i just told this kid i just babbled on and on about all the rare cards i had at home uh you got any ex's though i was not surprised of course this kid asked for dumbass ex cards totally yeah i i damn i have hella ex's i have like a really nice one that you'll like though for sure i have this one nice one Psh, at home i had a crappy ass ex that no one wanted so i knew immediately Psh, this kid's gonna eat this up i'm just gonna give this to him the kid says okay sure come back tomorrow with your exes and we can trade i get home i rush to my cars trying to find this dumbass ex card i finally find it i put it in a sleeve and put it in my backpack and just wait. The next day comes along and I'm just anticipating recess. This is the most I've ever been excited for my 15 minute recess. The bell rings and I immediately rush to find this kid. This kid better have my cards. I get into the classroom and this kid's freaking trading other kids. I'm like, hell no. I walk towards the table and start just I'm not letting them take my chance to get these vintage cards. The kid hands me this chunk of cards, massive stack. I have never held this many Pokemon cards in my hand before. And this chunk is all original vintage cards. I start flipping through and I find promo cards from the original movie. I find vintage Japanese cards, hella cool stuff. And this kid has no idea what he has. So I take a big ass stack. I don't even care. And somehow the kid's okay with it, but I wanted more. I, I wanted his whole, I wanted his whole collection. I was going to steal this whole collection. So I asked the kid, how can I trade you for more? You got any other cards with you? My dumbass only brought one card. I didn't have a backup. So I go through my backpack, I rustle through it. And at the bottom of my backpack, I find a paper ninja star that I made like three weeks before. It was all messed up, but I quickly straighten it up, make it look all nice. And I say, oh, uh, can I trade you for a ninja star? I folded this myself, it's hella cool. The kid eats this up and is like, sure, take more cards. I grab these kids' cards and just leave the classroom. I don't look back, I don't look behind me. I was supposed to play Magic the Gathering with my friends, but no, I didn't care. And that's pretty much how I pulled off the ultimate Pokemon card heist. That kid's probably hella pissed now. And to this day, I still cherish these cards. To this day. To this day. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.